Hey y'all, welcome back to My Before Life. My name is Trina and today, girl, it is December 1st. Honey, I'm gonna try my hand at vlogmas. I wanna say this is my, hold on, 20, 21. This, I think this is my third year attempting to do it, honey. I'm never successful. Now y'all do know, if y'all are familiar with the channel, I do not celebrate Christmas, but I do like the ideal of posting daily. So that's what I'm, I'm gonna try to do. But uh, we're starting our morning off y'all at Kroger. So, Asante has a field trip today. They just sent the form home Monday. The field trip is today, Thursday. Make, make that make sense, okay? They used to, a couple years ago, I would say, like, maybe right before 2020, they used to allow a parent, like, you just had to be one of the first ones to tell the teacher you wanted to chaperone, right? So, it was always just a competition of who could get to the teacher first, and... I want to say like 2020, they switched that around, or maybe even 2021. Now you have to fill out a form. No, it definitely is 2020, like 2019, 2020, because they haven't had field trips since. 2019, 2020 is when they started making you fill out a form. Word on the street was, um, which was crazy, but if I remember right, a woman had went on a field trip with her child, and she brought her pedo boyfriend. And one of the parents complained because they recognized the man. So now we all have to do like a little form or whatever. And I am hoping that I can get it done in time so I can go on the field trip with my baby. Because I have not been able to go on a field trip with my kids in years because they haven't taken field trips. Which is unfortunate, y'all. Because I love going on field trips with the kids. I want to so many field trips with the babies. Okay. <laughs> That's my thing, okay? I like going to go eat lunch with my babies and I like going to go on field trips with them. Since Asante is going to be doing homeschool after December, I would like for him to get like one field trip in. It would be nice. So I guess it's good, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go, but I am gonna go grab him a Lunchable because um, he just said he didn't want to do the sack lunch for school. So I'm gonna go grab him a Lunchable and then run to the school, try to fill out the volunteer form, see if they'll allow me to go on a field trip. If not, it's okay, we're gonna go to work. Uh, plus I got housework I need to do so either way honey we gonna be busy but y'all let me go ahead and get up in here there's so many people outside y'all I get to acting weird when there's too many people around like what I'm why uh Kroger tell me why I found five dollars on the ground I think that's cool I'm gonna have to check to make sure it's, it's real y'all because we got petty people here sometimes so I filled out the form today unfortunately it has to sit for 48 hours before i'm able to take a field trip go on before i'm able to go on a field trip with uh with the school so unfortunately i won't be able to go today which is a bummer um i know asante was not happy about it i did get to see him when i dropped off his um when i dropped off his food but he was not very happy so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go tomorrow and bring him some mcdonald's for lunch come go eat lunch with him see y'all i'm trying to get from my sister now so i can call since i can't go dang i can't even go see my baby now i was wanting to go see my niece but my sister said they are not up in mobile right now honey so i guess we're gonna go ahead and go to work so let me go ahead and go available it is what it is i don't have any orders right now so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Dollar Tree because I need to get rid of some more puppy pets. So I will see y'all at Dollar Tree. Y'all, Dollar Tree did not disappoint. Oh my gosh, look at all these cute little gifts. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's been very hard to buy the single exfoliating glove after I got a two pack that was name brand a couple months ago it's probably like six months over um it, i can't i can't pay a dollar or a dollar 25 for one anymore <laughs> but um they had a lot of cute little gift sets i love the little pom-pom with the lip gloss could not get it because it has glitter in it and glitter and my lips do not go together honey i will be looking like i got the fighting with mike tyson so that is not a cute lip <laughs> um but i love the elf black elf on the shelf y'all they have a lot of items this year that are catered to black people so you know if you want to get a black santa you can or black black characters you can um i did grab a pair of these and i will say i do like the sizing as well i've never seen this sizing before they had like six and a half to seven and a half um five to six my feet are super small so i did grab the five to six but I, I got my last pair of house shoes from here. Love them. They were actually sandals, y'all, but I use them as house shoes. I've been looking for another replacement pair ever since they broke. 
uh they lasted like a year as well so they were durable but um i did want to show you guys these vases so i got some glass vases uh like last year yeah it was last year they ended up breaking i do want to come back in and grab those because those are plastic so i don't believe they will break if they fall and then i did go in the back and look at this right here i feel like dollar tree is definitely stepping up in some areas I'm definitely going to come back and grab that. And then they had the little closet organizers, which I thought was really cool as well. Um, I want to say they even had like the shoe organizer. Uh, yep, that's it right there. So $1.25 to get the closet or get the baby's closets together. That That's a good price. Now, whether these products are of quality or not, that's another story. So somebody going to have to be, <laughs> somebody's going to have to check it out. See, um, I might do it for y'all just to let y'all know whether it's worth buying or not. Um, and then they did have these cute little charcuterie board cheeses. So I went back there to look for me some bread, you know, because they usually have like some little bread back there. I wanted to get some name brand bread for a dollar, dollar twenty five. And they removed all the bread for this, which I think is really cool. I don't think this is the best deal. But, you know, I know some people just don't care. They're just trying to like put a bunch of small gifts together. But they had jams. They had um, they had all types of different stuff, to be quite honest. The cheese, the little snacks. I um, also like, yeah, I've never seen that at the Dollar Tree before. And then um, y'all thought the little gems were so cute. I have never seen that in the Dollar Tree. Um, and y'all know I'm a Dollar Tree fanatic. So I think that's a completely new item. And then they did have coffee as well. This right here, rip off. $1.25 for like a finger scoop of nutella who is buying that like who is buying that but um i also ended up getting this as well so it looks like my store is almost cleared out but they had the some new crackers which i think this is also for a charcuterie board um but yeah that's a new item and i also found this rice y'all so I'm not going to lie, honey. I have been a big fan of the little quick microwave rice. Um, I ended up getting some on clearance. And I'm a, I'm a little hooked. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it, it helps out a lot. And, oh, my gosh. Y'all, look at the movies. This right here literally reminded me back when I was struggling, struggling. And this is when I was working like a dog. And couldn't, I couldn't afford Wi-Fi. So, I was trying my best to, like, get us movies, cheap movies. And sometimes I would get some from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree came in, like, as a, a, Dollar Tree really helped me out for a couple of years, I'm not gonna lie. Before, before they decided to get extra, um, Dollar Tree was my store for a couple of years. Um, I saw these as well, so I thought these were so cute, y'all. Tell me why I was about to get my niece one of these. And I'm like, girl, she is a baby. Why are you trying to buy this? Um, and then I got, um, I saw these as well. I have not seen those before, but the, I was going to get one, but the popsicle, like the orange cream side popsicle, that just kind of just made me not want to get any. And then before I went to check out, y'all, I went to back to look at the vases and seen these Yardley candles. I have not seen these before, but they all smell really pretty. I don't know how well they'll, you know, make the room smell like that, but I'm going to try them out. I think I'm not crazy about the lemon one, but I do want to try the... Uh, lavender one in the cherry so we are right back at kroger as i was leaving hold on now wait a minute as i was leaving a dollar tree i got an order from instacart for like 16 dollars and some change 12 or 13 items and it's only 2.6 miles so i was like i'm gonna go ahead and grab it before i go home at least i got something while i was out um yeah, it's been a little sketchy lately, y'all. A lot of people have been also tip baiting where they act like they're going to give you a decent tip. And then after you deliver their food or whatever, uh, their order, they take the tip back, which I think is like really just disgusting. If you don't want a tip, don't order. All right, at least the line saying you're going to uh, get a tip shoot.
15 different items. So it's a little bit more than what I thought. It's still okay. 10, 11. I'll come back when I'm done. Look, y'all, I am doing an order. And look at this one I just passed by in the bakery. Honey, I definitely got to come back and grab one of those. Because they look so good. But let me hurry up. I get distracted easily by sweets. Look at T.T. little strawberry. Oh, Yeah. Is T.T. baby getting up? Uh-oh. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, gorgeous. Can I post her on social media? Well, everybody is literally coming over just to get it. Okay. She's so cute. Oh, Tito. She ain't got no attitude. Okay, well, as you said it, like, she ain't say, say she always trying to be a hater, ain't she? So, when you see my niece, Pooh. I adore that little girl. She is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's like a little doll. I think I'm gonna nickname her Strawberry. So my nickname for her is gonna be Strawberry, y'all. She's so cute. She's so cute, so sweet. But anyways, um, on today's episode of complaining about the prices increasing, <laughs> brother went to Walmart before he met me and my sisters, and he said he was gonna grab him a plate. The plates come with like chicken two sides or you get one with one side and you can get um you can get a roll those used to be 450 to five dollars if five dollars if you got the roll 450 if you just got the chicken and the two sides y'all them the plates now are nine dollars nine dollars for the same same plate how how it doubled in like two years i have no clue i don't know y'all so um, even the way that they do like the sides and stuff. So before I used to would just order like um I used to would just order a pound of like potato logs, right? Because I love me some potato logs. They are like a childhood flavor. They don't have that anymore. You get a small, which is one pound, um, and a small is a dollar forty seven, that's reasonable. And then you or you can get a large. I don't know how many pounds it is, but it's five dollars and some change, y'all. I remember when I was a little girl, my mom used to send me into Walmart. <laughs> She used to send me into Walmart, right? Go to the bank and get her a pound of potato logs or two pounds of potato logs or whatever. Uh, definitely can't do that no more. Can't, that's not an option no more. Girl, that's a mess, y'all. But I did go home, check on Miss Jada. Uh, I didn't get footage of that. I went home, checked on Jada and took her out to the bathroom. Did a little bit of cleaning, but didn't have enough time to do anything because... I was right back out the door again, right back out the door. So, yeah. But um, I'm about to go through my little coupons that my brother gave me. Um, that power wash, the Dawn power wash, definitely something I want from here on out. Y'all, it cleans so well. If you have not tried it, definitely try to get it on some type of really good deal just to see if you like it. It's worth it. I would honestly pay full price for it because the cleaning... And the foam, like, it foams up exactly how I want to. Yesterday, I used it in the bathroom, which I will say it's not the, it's not the best in the bathroom, not to me, or, like, not, not for me, but, like, everywhere else around the house, I love it. Like, I love it a lot. And it, it foams up really good. That's one of the things I really love about cleaners is the ones that foam. So, yes, but it does have a very strong smell to it. So, if that's something you don't like, then you probably don't, you know, and then just know that before you get it. But, y'all, let me get off of here so I can go through my little coupon. I like your little, your little face tattoo. That's cute. And you said, how was your, how was your, your field trip today? Good. Good. Bruh, the crazy thing is that we had a substitute that was in the middle of the hair, but she was so mean. I'm sorry to hear that. But she was in the scent. I was in the scent, so she knew it wasn't me. 